to basically just do a neckerchief around his neck because I want to keep the price of uh, this down as low as I can. I was talking to the uh, person in uh, Loveland that I'm going to be showing at their store. Uh, that's uh, Karen and uh, she owns uh, the website uh, sculpturedepot.net and, and the store that is connected with that website. And so I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on this and then I'm going to do another bust and like I said, he, he said keep it within a certain price range and I'm going to attempt to do that. This guy, uh, I'm going to put a collar on him. But first, I'm going to fill in. Ooh, there's a screw right there. Better watch my fingers. Um, push that one back in. Yeah, there we go. Now it's out of the way. Yeah, that's, that came from. Uh, anchoring his head down, or the hat down on his head, and uh, the screw had just gone through a little bit too far. I'm not going to worry about a lot of the anatomy down here uh, below the neck because it's going to be mostly covered by the uh, neck chip anyway. And I'm the one for not overdoing everything. A lot of the old time shirts had no uh, collar, it just uh, <clears throat> was a uh, top of the shirt that was split with the buttons on it and had a button for the uh, collar. just brought up a photograph I took off of a movie called Broken Trail with Kevin Costner, who this is. And I like his neckerchief, and I'm going to do that on the clay here. You can get your sources for what you do from any place you want. copy Kevin Costner exactly, which I'm not doing, and, uh, but you can 
take parts and use them. I truly hope you're enjoying this video uh, during this speeded up version of uh, my sculpting. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about my instructional DVDs, uh, of which I've got oh, probably a good 50 years of experience packed into these DVDs, um, little tricks, little things you can do uh, in your sculpting, please check out uh, the link in the video description below this video. Also, if you enjoy this video or my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then click on the uh, follow uh, button in the subscription. All right, back to the video. It's a nice little bust. It uh, has some work to be done on it before I take it to a foundry, but I'm not going to clean it up very much. I'm just going to leave it uh, rough like this because I kind of like it rough. I got fill in there and stuff like that, but not a bad little bust.
I'll take care of that vacant space back there, so I'm going to just go ahead and put some clay in there. Just makes it a little easier to cast. Anything I can do to make it easier for the uh, foundry, less it's going to cost me. I'll work on the ears Monday. 